just yeah, dangerous as hell. That's why he was a, the dopest ranger, because he would just put his life in danger until he came to white. It's really funny. Ranger. How do you get down? Is there like a little elevated part? You just like pose, and then you like beep, beep, and you awkwardly wait. <laughs> 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 you get it? I have You're so all many buff questions. in there. <laughs> I have so many questions. My new set, my new comedy set, is gonna have a lot to do about Power Rangers uh, and it. being on the Zord. It should, yeah. as it should. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm to hear more, and welcome to the new edition of Wording Is Hard, aka Wording Is Harder. Each round will be a different challenge. This is completely new, and I'll be honest with you guys, I didn't have a lot to do with it. I would not have created more challenges for myself to make the show more challenging than it already was hmm. for myself. Who did it? Uh, uh, Maya. Oh, hey, Maya. She was like, hey, you're not getting embarrassed enough. Let's go ahead and make this harder. And I was like, <laughs> That's tight. Yeah. So you're going to be embarrassed more? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest in the house today. This is his sort of re uh, rematch. Um, did you win the first one? Okay, wait, wait. Did you, wait, 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 did you have W's in the first season? I did. Really? Maya, would you let him know? He had a few. Ah. There was no need to say it like that, though. I had He's, no idea. That was, what the fuck is happening right now? We ain't even six minutes into the show. What you, you know what, here's what, it, this, this is what it is. So it's, it's sort of his rematch and also his introduction to the new format. So that I guess this would technically be season two. You guys got a full year of, of episodes of season one and, uh, now we're about to kick it off. Actually, yeah, because we started in the, the first week of March on the first season. Oh, so wow. this is there really like season Year two. two. Yeah, season two. Time flies. Uh, one yeah, every pandemic. week, too. So check us out, even during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I am nervous. I'm not going to lie to you guys about this. Uh, one, because of the format change. Two, because Pat is a, he's a formidable foe. Uh, I purposely did not learn the new rules. I have no idea what anything you I'm going to be says. honest with you. I didn't either. Oh. They had phone calls. Does I was playing know? video games. <laughs> <laughs> she knows though. She knows. Like, if we have any, we have any questions, or we have any concerns, or we don't understand something, or need further explanation, mm -hmm. we can lean on Maya during the show, and she will give us all the clarification that she can without going in the realms of giving us the answer. So okay. this is completely different, completely new, and um, hopefully going to be a lot of fun. I'm sure it is because watching people fall, even verbally, is going to be a lot of fun. So mm -hmm. we are going to get this going. How you been, man? I'm good. Yeah. I've been uh, I've been doing vocal warm ups and, and reading the dictionary, so I feel like I'm I'm very prepared for today. I feel like you're lying about that. No, I do. Do you do warm ups? Um, do you like mispronounce like scales like? And then you go up to the next note. <laughs> like how does to hear vocally prepare for this? You just eat Scrabble chips. <laughs> <laughs> I gargle, I gargle with kitty litter. <laughs> the extra dryness. I try to read words backwards in books, and that's basically how I warm up right there. You do be talking like you reading backwards. Mm -hmm. that's, that sounds, that sounds... It's a different language me and my cousin made up when we were younger. That's how we used to talk when adults were around. Mm -mm. Yeah, so they wouldn't know what we were talking about. It was okay. very difficult because you don't know what word. You have to write it down just to... <laughs> then you have to read it backwards to actually make it make sense. So Sounds like witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Literally sounds like a seance. <laughs> then we hold it up to the mirror and we start rolling our eyes. Yeah, back. I never understood in movies when they are reading old cryptic texts and they're sending spirits back to the underground. Like, how did they know that's how you pronounce it? Because these were written oh, right. thousands it's of like years dead languages. ago. Yeah. yeah, the dead languages. They were they were made thousands. It's not like somebody <laughs> made a, a key on how to pronounce the words and uh -huh. the letters. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I just don't <laughs> understand how they just be knowing. Like, that's true. They find the book. All right, now we can start the seance. <laughs> like whoa, 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 hold on, fam. How do you that's just true. know? And they always do it in a, a weird part of their their downfall. It's like we're losing the house. We just had a baby. Let me pull out this Ouija board. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you adding to your problems? <laughs> All right, man. So listen, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it, man. Um, just because I don't know how long this new format is going to take. I feel like it might be a little longer, so I don't want to go heavy on the intro. So we're about to kick it off. New season of Wording is Hard, a.k.a. Wording is Harder. New challenge. Ooh, Every level. Hard ER. Huh? Hard ER. Yeah. Yeah. Wording is hard. Harder. Harder. All right, so I'm gonna kick it off first uh, with this first card, and it says, Jesus, already. Which sentence is correct? A says, to skin the fruit, she used a paring knife. B says, to skin the fruit, she used a paring knife. 
Oh, two different pairings. One is pairing like a fruit, and the other is pairing like people. There's Put not you. a pairing. P E A R knife. A it pair. Is. A pair knife. Yeah. For specifically stabbing pears to death. Yes. And that wouldn't work on a potato. <laughs> no. Hmm. It's different skins, different textures. Are we allowed to use Google during this game? <laughs> if it's not our turn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with um, ah. I'm, I'm gonna go with B. She to skin the fruit. She used a paring knife. P A R I N G. Correct. Yeah, there is no such thing as a paring. I gave him that. No, I knew that. I just lied to I gave try him to. That. You? How would you? Because I, plan, I planted the seed in your head. Like, oh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> I was gonna compliment your shirt because I didn't really check it out before. Y'all see the shirt? But now I'm not gonna compliment. Go, it. go, Patrick Rangers. Patrick the thing Rangers. is, the Red Ranger never had to be on top of the Zord. He, the, only the Green Ranger had to do that, which lets you know now, why. Uh -huh. The Green Ranger was the safest because he just had to play the flute within a. He was like a sniper. He didn't have yeah, to. Yeah, but he was on the shoulder. He would always be on the shoulder playing the flute. He never like. I always saw him on a distant mountaintop. That's when he called it. But when he was fighting, he would be on the shoulder. He would be like, "All right, it's really right punch." It's really unsafe. It was really unsafe. Looks cool though. Yeah, it does. All right, so that's that's the end of that card. Am I good? Flip it over and answer the question on the back. Why is that, why is that, why are we doing this? Double segments. Okay, what is the difference between pear and pear? Oh, well pear is a fruit, Easy. and P-A-R-E is, oh shit, that's not the right pear. No. I was thinking about P-A-I-R. That's two. Yeah. yeah, that's, oh uh, So maybe this is a lack of two. Like, damn, <laughs> we, we need a pear. Just, just stop, just. As I said it. Yeah. As you said it, you realize it was just... <laughs> It's the same pair. <laughs> it's the stuff you say before that. Um, th uh, this pair, what? This pair is... This is really good coffee transit. Whoever made it. Uh, I... Okay, so this pair is fruit. The other pair is like a couple. This pair is... I, what is this pair? I don't give know. up? Yes. It means to cut the skin off something or to trim it. Whoa, that is. I didn't know it was that on the nose. Specifically violent, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess it makes sense since that was the, that was C the answer. A cut a, cut skin off of something or what? Or to trim something. So to pair something would mean oh, to trim pairing, it down. Pairing shears and ah, oh, okay. I was trying sense. to compare it to like literally compare or prepare. Does it have anything to do with that little? Probably, yeah. But like the etymology. I don't see it. My turn? Mm hmm Patrick's turn? Let's go. All right. Which sentence is correct? A, the moral arc of the universe is long, but it bends towards justice. That's that's on the wall in the Justice League. I was about to say, that's, that's <laughs> deep. That's like a, wow. Okay, the moral arc. Oh, I'm supposed to say, spell the words that are different? Mm-hmm. Okay. A, the moral arc, A-R-C, of the universe is long, but it bends towards justice. Mm -hmm. It's deep. Or B, the moral arc, A-R-K, mm -hmm. of the universe is long, but it bends towards justice. Wow, okay. Um, first of all, what? <laughs> <laughs> Does the universe have a moral arc? Are there? Does the universe have morals? Is that what it means by like? Maybe the people in the universe. Hmm. But it bends towards justice. Oh. Okay. So that means mm. like when you say like, oh, I'm listening to the universe, or the universe is working. That mm. means it be it, it be having like you know influence, but it mm. bends towards the yeah. right way. Okay. 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 Now, if I were to break that down even furtherly. Uh, the the second arc is A R K, which is like Noah's Ark, which mm -hmm. might be like a boat or yeah. something, you know, mm -hmm. literal boat. But then the moral A R C mm -hmm. is spelled like a character arc mm -hmm. in a movie, yeah, which is basically like, yeah, boom. You feel okay. me? I got you. So with that said, I'm gonna go with boat. A R C, the moral arc of the universe. That's a good choice. Is long, but it bends towards justice. Teacher. Correct. The, and the question on the back. You didn't even let me enjoy that. You didn't even <laughs> let me enjoy the Zoom. Just trying to enjoy the Zoom. Next one. All right. <clears throat> How was the breakdown, though? Breakdown was pretty. Very good. 
For the extra point, who said this famous quote? Wow. Um, What's the quote? The moral arc of the universe oh, is that's long, the, okay, okay, but it you. bends towards justice. Well, if I didn't give him a shout out by now, <laughs> <laughs> I clearly don't know this. Um, well, it sounds like, Jesus, it sounds like it was said on the Big Bang Theory or something. <laughs> Sheldon's, like Sheldon's first words. Um, it was a whole sentence, his first word. Right? Um, Jesus, it's either someone who's into science or someone who's into... Politics. The moral arc of the universe is long, but it bends towards justice. I'm After gonna you go. I want. I want to try and see if I. I have two. Well, I got one guess. Shoot. Who's the black dude? Who be saying the science stuff? It's like hella words. It's not Neil Patrick Harris. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil deGrasse Tyson. See, I was. Neil. I had Neil. Mm-hmm. That's what you're going with? Uh, well, the, the inflection, she wouldn't have given me that if, she wouldn't have said it if that was the right answer. That was, so. that was good. I was so hoping no. you was going to try to get that off like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that this was said by Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Can I, can I try? Yeah. Is it Superman? No. Okay, cool. I just feel like it was something he would say. Albert Einstein or Superman? That is a, what class is this? <laughs> this is not an advanced class. I feel if you like get somebody a test would ask back. Superman, like, why didn't you kill him? Like, the moral arc of the universe is long. I would be such a stressed out jokes. teacher if I got the same test back and I was like, Superman, Albert Einstein, what am I even teaching these kids? These kids are a failed cause. <laughs> All right, who said it? Who said it? Martin Luther King. <gasps> oh, I was going to say that. But you didn't though, right? Oh, that was my that was my gut answer. But uh, I was like, this sounds like a white sentence. My gut answer had to do with lunch. So I didn't see a black. I would have been like Chef Boyardee or Papa John. You know, black people don't say the word justice too much. You know, unless they're in a Marvel movie. No, we say no justice, no peace. Okay, yeah, we we say it a lot. Yeah, and we're talking about the lack of. Yeah. Um. Okay. All right. It's my turn. Our next question. What up, guys? It's 2021, but I know that there are still remnants of 2020 just kind of floating around. And if that's you, if you still feel like there's something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals, I want to tell you what I had to do. I had to, I had to reach out to the people at BetterHelp, okay? I had to reach out to them because BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. And you can start communicating in under 48 hours, all right? Now, I have to be very clear about this. This is not a crisis line. It's not a self-help line. It is professional counseling done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise is available, which may not be locally available in many areas. And the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor and you'll get a timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. Also, BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. So, they make it easy and free to change your counselors if needed. All right, it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today, all right? So listen, people, visit betterhelp.com slash wording. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash wording and join the over one million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. So all you have to do to take advantage of 10% off your first month, because that's what I'm offering for all my listeners right now, since you listen to this, I want to give you some. Go to BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash wording, W-O-R-D-I-N-G. That's right, and you'll get 10% off your first month. One more time, BetterHelp dot com slash wording. 10% off your first month, and you can tell him your boy sent you. Which of these sentences is correct? I thought we were switching this up. I didn't know we were going to come right back to this. I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, no, that was just one part of the segment. <sighs> okay. Um, a, as much as you want to deny it, you two are one and the same. And B, as much as you want to deny it, you two are one and the same. So the difference in the two sentences is like one in the same or one and the same. And I'm going to go with one in the same for B. That is incorrect. Is the phrase always one and the same? You two are one and the same. Oh, that makes sense. I I would have guessed that. I would not have guessed that. I 
in every movie I've heard that, I feel like they always said one and the same. I've never. Well, if you think about it, if if you say you two are one, it seems like they just added another extra zest, like and you're the same, which is I guess they at first they said like it seems like you guys are one, and they were like. You have to answer the question on the back enough. to hear before to Patrick question. answers it. What does the phrase mean? Um, Damn, I just gave it to you, fam. I kind of feel like, you know, like when people say you guys are like one and the same, mm -hmm. it's like, it's like you guys are one. Is that how you did it? And the same. And the same. So it was like, you know, like y'all are one people, but y'all act the same, like one and the same person. Is that's like what the cashier tells you when you order the McRib? You, you guys, found a way. You guys are one and the same. You found a way to just be mean for no reason. <laughs> there was no reason for that. There was absolutely the no McRib reason. The McRib is statistically proven to cause freckles. <laughs> <laughs> it's them in the sauce. <laughs> My, <laughs> I don't know about the McRib, but you were right to hear it. <laughs> See, she's a teacher. She's smart. Hey, man, go on with your next little funky-ass question. <laughs> Which of these sentences is correct? A, she has such a deep-seated, S-E-A-T-E-D, hatred for her baby's daddy that she still wouldn't sit with him at the boy's graduation. First of all, there was a lot of sentence after the, the word. This is very personal. I don't know if you wrote these yourself. This is very specific. Uh, B, she has such a deep-seated, S-E-E-D-E-D, -E 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 uh, hatred for her baby's daddy that she still wouldn't sit with him at the ba boy's graduation. Um, that's nice though, because you're graduating and you hear cheers coming from different areas mm -hmm. instead of one yeah. uh, central area. Um, I'm going to definitely say it's seeded, deep seeded, S E E D E D, mm -hmm. because it's like you done planted a seed of hate in me, baby daddy. Um, as opposed to like, oh, you, you got deep in there, baby daddy, and took a seat, and I still hate you. Yeah. Because you're still s sitting in there. But I don't know who seats, who's, who seats deep. Like I don't know, I even know how you would do that. How like, do you I, seat deep? Yeah, deep like, seated. How do you how you deeply sink in a seat? Um, you ever had like a bean bag that was kind of worn out? Ah, touche. You kind of like it's kind of uncomfortable because at yeah. some point you're like, oh, this is lumpy, and then you flip it over, yeah. and then it's hella hard in the on the middle, so you kind of like gotcha. the inverse. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, it's like flipping a spoon over. Um, but I, I'm I'm gonna go with seated, deep seated. No. Are you serious? Deep seated. S E A T? Mm hmm. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> I never knew. I was with you. I was with you the whole time. I'm like, oh, Patrick gets it. Yeah. It's he deep seated? Deep seated. No, it's not. <laughs> it can't be. It, you, can't you. you can't plant a seat. You can't plant a seat. You get planted in the seat. Such uh, a deep seated? Yeah, you mm -hmm. never want to get up. Deep seated. So it's like this hate really sat down. It sat down this part. Wow. It took the foot off the gas. Confirmed by Oxford. Confirmed by me. I don't want to answer the question on the back for you, but I'm telling you. Oxford. You were wrong. I. Do am, we still trust Oxford? I am blown away by that. Don't even lie and be like in the comments like you didn't know it was deep sea. Cause I know you got absolutely go lie in those comments. How did I not know this? How did you know it? How did you know that? Why did you know that? Are you an Arthur? Do you have deep seated hate for someone? Are you an Arthur? Or are you a Greg? Are you a Frank? Are you an Aaron? I said Arthur. Arthur. You said it. You doubled down on it. Arthur. Arthur. I said Arthur. 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 Yeah, Arthur. we know. Arthur. How do you say it? Did you just leave the last R off? Author. Are you rearranging these letters? How do you say it? How do you say it? Author. What? You gotta put that U in there. Author. What did I say? Arthur. You're a liar. You're a liar. A-R-T-H-U-R. I did not say that. <laughs> I did not, did not say that, bro. I got a heavy accent. I got a heavy accent. I ain't never lost my accent. Leave, leave a, a comment if you are an Arthur. <laughs> I've never seen this written on paper. Deep seated. That's, man. That was different. That was, that was, who, who made this up? That's wild. That's called uh, word painting. What does this phrase mean? Oh, I have to, oh, that's why you snatched the phone up. 
So I have to tell you what the origin of deep seated means. You don't have to tell me the origin. You just have to tell me what it means. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, um, I guess if you have a not just for hatred, anything, right? Anything. Deep seated has to be like deeply ingrained. It's really, really in there. So you can have deep seated hang, uh, anger, deep seated uh, jealousy, deep seated. I've never heard it uh, in a in a good way. Like I have deep seated love, uh, but maybe yeah, I've never heard that either. Uh, but maybe it always carries a negative connotation. It's always like with hate or jealousy yeah. or something. Deep seated envy, deep seated uh, grief or something like that. But really, really ingrained in there. Correct. Phew. Do you know why it's deep seated, or is it just how the world is? It's it's ingrained, as in it's seated within you. So really, like, I agree on your reasoning. Seated makes more sense. Thank you. See, we don't have to always agree, but you know, Webster be doing making decisions. Webster and Oxford, man. I don't know why they're the go-to, but it is what it is. Oxford's not a person, though, right? It's a place. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go on to. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I like this new format, but I. Geez, that was Louise. that was a lot. It was. I don't. I'm not gonna trust anything I hear anymore. Okay, one of these is not like the other. Uh, we have O M G. We have the bee's knees. We have Wow, and we have Bravo. Um, I am going to go with... Bees Knees, B. Correct. Yeah, really? all right. Really? That's yeah. What, that's what he got? All right. Yeah. I got it right. Favoritism. All right, I'm, now I flip on the back. Is there something mm -hmm. on the back? Okay. There's something on the back. For the extra point, tell us why. Well, um, OMG, WOW, and Bravo are all ways of describing something that kind of uh, surprises you or impresses you, while the bee's knees is something that people refer to as like, oh man, that's the bee's knees, that's pretty good. That's, that's, it's, it's more, it doesn't really take the, doesn't cause the shock and the impressing of, 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 of the same way that the other words do, so. That is correct. The other three are exclamations. Boom. Of course it was correct. She asked you to describe hey, wow? Man. Hey man, just, just get your point right. The so whole world, the whole room was stumped on mine. You had to describe wow. Hey, listen, it sounds like you got a deeply seated hate in your heart for me right I now. I don't like the word wow. Okay. It's a stupid word. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the word. What is that even? Wow. Wow. Wow, you are really deep seated Did in that hate. you hear Jessica's pregnant? Wow. What does that even mean? <laughs> I did not hear that. Wow. Wow. Mm. Oh, really? Wow. wow. Oomph. All right, one of these words is not like the other. There's an imposter among us. Find the odd man out. A, on. B, out. C, over. D, own. So we got on, out, over, own. Mm. Wait, are you serious? You don't. Okay, so I'm gonna go with own because on, out, and over are all like. Not, I want. I don't want to say directions, but they they give a placement. Like this is on something, this is out there, this is over there or over there, mm -hmm. and own is just showing like possession. Correct. <sighs> They're prepositions. I was so nervous about that. <laughs> I thought you were playing the whole time. I, I wasn't. Were... I wasn't talking with confidence. You saw I was frowning the whole time. And the pause, the long dramatic pause. I thought I was like, he's fucking faking it. He knows this. He knows. I just. That. I didn't know if it was that simple. I thought it was. First, I had to count the letters. It was like a lot of. It was. A it lot. was like you don't know if it's a, a syllable thing. Is this a syllable thing? For the extra point, tell us why, didn't I? Yeah, you, you did. did. You did. You got him. Mm -hmm. Two points in one, baby. Oh, you get on over. You are, in. are you arguing that yours was harder than mine? I'm just saying. Wow. Yours, yours was equally as challenging. Wow. You know what I'm saying? What up, guys? Listen, I'm here to tell you about Warby Parker, okay? Because Warby Parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores, offering eyeglasses, sunglasses, of course, eye exams, and contact lenses. You understand me? Glasses start at just $95. You feel me? $95. 
$95. Who else is offering you the new hotness for $95? No one, okay? And that includes sunglasses, progressives, and blue light lenses. Listen, you better get on this and you better get on it right now. But listen, let me, let me put you on the game real quick, okay? Everybody wants to try on glasses. And of course, they got the online things. We can upload a picture and see what the glasses are. But what you really want to do is try them on. That's why you really need to check out Warby Parker because right now they have the home try-on kit where you get to pick between three and five glasses and they will mail them out to your house. You get to pick these up. Try them on. Try them on with your hat. Because you know how it looks different sometimes when you're wearing a hat or you're wearing your head wrap, ladies? Everything looks different. So you get to try all of these on. Write down the ones that you want to keep, mail all of them back, and then tell them which ones that you want to buy. It does not get any easier. And guess what, guys? Guess what? All of this is free. You heard right. Free. So listen, if you're ready to do this, if you're ready to try on some real glasses, not just virtually, but try them on, I'm here to help you out, me and the beautiful people at Warby Parker. Try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. Order five pair of glasses and try them on at home for free for five days. You hear me? Five days. There's no obligation to buy, and they ship for free. You heard right. For free. Free and it also includes a prepaid return shipping label, so you don't have to do anything but have fun taking selfies. Post them online, see what people think, get some feedback, ship them back, and then get the ones that you want. You heard it here. So try on five pair of glasses at home for free. All you have to do is go to warbyparker.com/wording. That's right, warbyparker.com/wording. That's W-O-R-D-I-N-G. Warbyparker.com/wording. Word origin. Ooh. <laughs> the word is table. And my options for the origin are Latin, Greek, Germanic. Germanic. That's what I said. Germanic. Germanic. And what? Iroquois. Iroquois. So that's Native American, right? Mm-hmm. So is Germanic German? It's the language which German came from. Oh, wow. Ancient German. All right. It's a good segment. Um, it's a good segment. I am. You should Latin. say tree. That should be an acceptable <laughs> answer. It's a table's origin. I'm gonna go with uh, what's older, Latin or Greek? Greek, right? Greek times Latin. Latin. I'm gonna go with Latin. That is correct. Seems like every word comes from Latin. It does seem like that. I had to take Latin in high school because mm -hmm. all the other languages were. They didn't fit in my schedule, so mm -hmm. like Spanish and Chinese, and French didn't fit in my schedule. I had or your life, Latin. really. I don't know why yeah. that would. But Latin is really a dead language, too. Like, it's just yeah. the origin, but uh, no one really speaks, outside of like the medical field, because they write like medicine right. and, and science. Yeah. But how did it die, though? Because every word is literally, it's like, the, it's like the Lil Wayne of languages. Like, everything comes from it. Yeah. And it, it still died out. Like, well, why nobody's there... speaking it. It right. evolved. It yeah. didn't die. It evolved into the Romance languages. Ooh, like English? No, like, like French. French. And Spanish? Italian, Italian, Spanish. The sexy sounding ones. Mm -hmm. That's Ours romance. Is, Ours English is. be like, yeah, you want to eat your box. Well, that was just a vulgar sentence. <laughs> <laughs> but if you said it in French, you'd be like, oh, ni me la me le box. I mean, it probably would sound like a Le box doesn't sound, it takes the blow away ah, from it. Me lick le box. Anyone do lick le box? What, like, like, what restaurant is that? Oh, We're going to oh, lick, lick le box. box in, baby boy. I have a reservation at lick le box. Okay. Define the root word. What? The root word, a table? So, for example, computer comes from compute which comes from the Latin root word computare, which means to count. Now, the oh. root word for table is tabula. What does that mean? Tabula? It's kind of better than table. Tabula is like a ta tablet. It's something that you you put stuff on. You, you would put stuff on a, ta a, a tablet, tablet, like information or you know, things like that. So what about tabular? Hey, uh, first of all, don't do that. Do that on your time. You defined a different word. You were like, no, well, like a tablet. Tabula. 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 It's a noun, and the A is feminine. He's correct. Tabula. Did you say tablet? First of all. Tablet I said, is I said it's like a tablet. Mm -hmm. Like, like I got that from tablet. Mm -hmm. That's where I got that from. Tablet is correct. Are we guessing? Man, worry about yourself. I'm coming. I'm next. I just, I'm, next. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dissecting this. So wait, was he supposed to guess the word tablet or what it is to put stuff on? Define the root. Define of it. the root word. So the root word was tabula, 
And what does tabula mean? And one of the definitions for tabula, one of the translations is tablet. It's also a plank or a list. Now, he took so much Latin. I think he has you at a disadvantage. He took Latin, not even so much. If you took Latin, I'm at a disadvantage. <laughs> All right. That is really black. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how you're going to do that, big boy. All right. So the word origin of the word car. That's tough because it's already a short word. <laughs> All right. So A, Italian, B, German, C, Japanese, D, Celtic. Celtic. Celtic? Celtic, like the Celts. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's the Boston Celtics? No, that's different. Celtic is, it was a, uh, it was a, uh, like, thing yeah. oh, really? That's the same thing? I was about to say, ain't no way there's Celtics and Celtics. The Celts, not, they, they went to that. war with Rome. Where were the Celts? I was from? about to say Roman times. Look at me, I almost know what shit. Most of Europe. I mean, no one's um, Sort of where Germany is, where France is. The Romans no shit, bro. wiped them out. Those were all Celts? They were Celtic peoples, yeah. And that's not a that's not a place. That's a type of people. It depends. If you if you go back back, you'll see that uh, the Gauls or whatever that area where Caesar went to war with these people. We didn't really know much about them until Caesar genocided them. So that was their uh, rise to fame. Yeah. Murder, being slaughtered. That sucks. Um, all right, let's play this game. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with Italian. No. German. <laughs> it's probably German. It's not German. It's it, actually Celtic. Wow. See, I'd be inquiring about something and I'd be like, all right, well. You got all that information and it's like, oh, I'm not going to use this. Yeah, just drive off the road. <laughs> I drive a, a full road trip in the right direction and then drive off the cliff. At, when oh I get there. my gosh. Define the root word of car? Is Ooh. it. Is it uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you. No, no, no. I'm going to lose the point, right? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, I'll yeah. tell you oh, what okay, the root sure. word is or Kara. close to it, and then you tell me what it means. Okay. So we think it's pronounced care, and then the Latins, the Romans stole it and called it carum. Mm. What does that mean? That's so glad that evolved. I need to go to my carum real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying. Um, a horseless stagecoach machine. It's 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 basically like a so something Sherlock Holmes had. A, 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 a automatically propulsed vehicle that does not need the assistance of animals. That's so just like a car. A, you just described a car. No, you, I thought that's what I'm doing. You're describing the root carum. Yeah. What, what would what would it, what would that what would that be to evolve? No, into? not what did it evolve into? What was carum? What's the definition of carum? Oh, and that was back before they had cars. Yeah, yeah. Um. So, a carum. <laughs> a horseless. <laughs> yeah. How would you how would you describe how would you describe cars before cars? Um. A, 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 um, a transportation, a, mo a, a, a efficient mode of transportation. You need to be more specific than that. That means I'm on the right track. You see how you gotta read between the lines? Um, Try horseless in there. Try. Yeah. <laughs> a mechanical mm. mode of transportation. Is that a... No. No, that's not correct. It's just a wheeled cart. Oh, you were so close. That ain't mechanical? <laughs> no. Whoa, wait, you mean to tell me building a wheel, putting it on an axle, and then putting a room on top of it? Ain't no mechanics in that. Not in the sense that you meant it. I said a like something that moves on its own without... No, you have to pull a wheeled cart with an oxen or a person. So it was really just a, a, a buggy. The definition was a buggy. A cart? Something you can transport things in? <clears throat> Wheeled a cart. There we go. <clears throat> Damn. Pronounce 
This word, fuck. That was pretty good. This word is P R O T H A L A M I O N. Well, that's a Pokemon. <laughs> Prothomion? You can't. Shh, you can't help him. That was wrong. I, was, I said it wrong. Okay. I left out a couple syllables. This is mental warfare. Partholomew. Paragony. Shut up. Paragony. Shut up. <laughs> you shut your stupid mouth. Paralysis. <laughs> Pro Prometheus. Probethazine. Prothalamia. Correct. Let me see. See what the fuck I'm over here doing, Playboy? Prothalamian? Yeah. Sounds like Pokemon. I'm sure I gotta explain this now. Okay. The couple hired an artist to compose a prothalamian, but they should have saved the money for counseling. Ooh, damn. Y'all trying to get prothalamians and shit, when y'all know y'all can't even agree on what y'all want for dinner. You know what I'm saying? Um, Hired a couple, an artist to compose. Um... <clears throat> Artists immediately made me think like they were getting some painting done or some shit like that, right? I don't get the counseling. But, but compose makes me think ah, a song, right? There you go. And um, based on the fact that they should have saved the money for counseling, lets me know that it was Fighting. probably a love song. So a prothalamian is like a, a ballad or a love song or a sonnet with music behind it. That's correct, but it's not specific enough, so I can't give Son it to you. Bit. Okay, hold, hold on, but wait, you, but wait, hold on. You said it's not specific enough. You allowed, you allowed him to get more specific. Okay, okay. That you was have pretty a specific. Chance. It was pretty specific because you so did say love. Wrong. I say what? You did say love. Uh huh. So that was specific enough? No, 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 no. You if if by what you said you got it wrong. Boom. Now you can't go back. Oh, okay. Well then, fuck it then. So it's, what? It, Specifically for a marriage. You don't, if you marry wait, somebody, wait. don't you love them though? Wait, so what is it? It's a song in celebration of a marriage. Yeah, I can tell they're not gonna make it. Who hires a, they hired a composer because they were arguing too much? Like, yeah, maybe if we got something in the key of A minor, this will all, this will all feel Man, you get married when you're in love. That's but awkward. you do other things when you're in love too. Yeah, <laughs> go raw. Ow! All right, all right. Sorry to get that. I only got half a point. Actually, you don't have to be in love to go raw. Maybe they played the song while they were making love in the room. You no, know? spice it up. Have a little quartet. That'd be weird. Make it a sixum. Okay, so we're ba we're back at the original segment. This is this is this is the one. Pronounce this word. This is a typo. This is, this is for sure. This is for sure. Oh, that's the word. That's the word? Bro, you didn't see the, the episode I did with Ronnie Jordan. I had a word with no vowels in it. This has U, G, and M very close to each other. Um, well, U, G, and? Yeah, U, G, and M oh. in the middle of the word. Pat, can you spell the word for us? Z, E, U, G, M, A. All right. I've seen these letters before. <laughs> So if we go based off alphabet. of if we go based off of Zeus, that part first part is Zeus. Uh huh. If we go back off of Enigma, then it's Gma. So I'm gonna go with Zugma. Correct. Sometimes you have to spell it out, sound it out, do it out. I tried to make up a that jingle. Is not a, that is not it. It's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought if it was convincing enough, you're like, oh, my school like, didn't I do that. I never learned that one in school. But then you started going, it. I was like, this is why. This is why Zugma. I never learned that in school. Here is Zugma, the word I got right in the sentence. He would have a per he would have had a perfect SAT score, but for the question on Zugma. That's not enough information. I don't like when it's <laughs> they just be like, the word, the sentence is Zugma. <laughs> Didn't give me no information. No. All right. Sometimes it'd be like that though. But yeah, you got none for that one play ball. He would have had a perfect score except for the question on Zugma. That gives no information besides it was on a test. Anything could be on a test. This is a test. Okay, let's let's break down the SAT scores. You got math, you got English, you got a whole bunch of other stuff. It's mo it's mostly math and math and English though, right? Mm-hmm. 
So let's 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 you know throw, let's throw math out. He breaks his all the way down like this and still get the shit wrong. That's what's gonna be crazy. Math. Cry. I've never heard of a zugma, but I kind of signed out after um, sign actually when signs came up. Signs and cos. What's cos? C O S. Cosine. Cosine. This is unfair. <laughs> there's no there's no context. You know what's crazy? Besides, can, it was on a test. I can see you totally doing that in real class to one of your teachers. <laughs> I have a question. Why are we doing this? <laughs> it's part of the curriculum. Yeah, but why? I want to be a musician. That's so why I don't my understand. Third, that's why my third grade teacher called me cloudy. <laughs> so I wasn't listening a lot. Okay. Zook, I'm, I'm going to have to just say that this was a... This is a, 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 a time in history where there was some type of renaissance or revolution. And you think that you would have never heard of that before, but it was a time in history with a revolution. You know how many actual revolutions I've never heard of? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of revolutions going on everywhere. Two check. Zugma. What's it, what, what, what is this unfair? The definition is kind of complicated, but I'll give you an example. It says, the use of a word to modify or govern two or more words when it is appropriate to only one of them or is appropriate to each but in a different way. Nope. That was my second, that was my second request. No. Say that one more time. Slower, okay. please. The use of a word to modify or govern two or more words when it is appropriate to only one of them or is appropriate to each but in a different way. So the example, very easy to understand example is, on his fishing trip, he caught three trout and a cold. Mm. <clears throat> so, so that that little bar was called the zugma. Caught so would yes. be the zugma, right? The caught he he caught mm -hmm. three trout and a cold. So it applies to fish, the trout, and it applies to cold. That's what he caught. Caught is a zugma. So based on the example given. What was, what bone was I thrown that even remotely led to that? I, there wasn't even a zugma in the sentence, right? No, but if I put a zugma in the sentence, then you would know it. But if I put that it was on the SAT, you would know that it's something very complicated to do with the English language. Hey man, listen, sometimes when we get things wrong, it's hard to understand, but you got it wrong. Nope. That's it. This sentence basically just said, what is Zugma? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Figure it out. Okay. All right, just like in the original format, we have extra credit. So this is the extra credit round just because it's new. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do. Mike, is it is it the same? Is it a time thing or is this just a point thing? It's a point thing. It's not timed, but you have to spell a word. Oh, and then knows. define it. All right. All How right. many Absolutely. do we get? How many extra credits do we need? You each get one. What? That's that's all that's available, or? You each get one extra credit. Do you want to do like extra work after school? Is that what you're asking? I'm not. I'm not. I just I've never been nope. an ECN. Okay. Extra credit, niggas. I always <laughs> get my A right there in the class. <laughs> it don't sound like it. <laughs> all right. Let me see. It's a new, uh, it's a new low. It's a new low. Spell the word that Maya gives you. To hear, spell aneurysm. Oh fuck! No, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not ah. even gonna try to spell it. That yes. trying to spell aneurysm would give me an aneurysm. What's the third letter? Okay, here we go. Aneurysm. Easy. Here we go. Can I start backwards? No. Oh, I mean, you got the MSI. No, nah, right we're gonna there. do the R I S M. So I got that part right. The aneurysm. Well, that's not backwards. No, I'm just, well, can I start at the end? Oh, I know, I was going to go, go in segments. Yeah. You wanted to spell it in segments. Hey, first of all, let me just, You can still do that, just start go from first? the beginning. Do you want to go first? I will, I'm on the end here, so. Okay. All right, A, N. N. U A R I S M. No. Okay, cool. Yes. Woo. You said no, right? That's not it. Okay. Yeah. I was like, is this Woo. happening? Yeah. 
Oh, can so I steal? Good. No, you no. cannot. Okay, do I flip on the back? I need the points. Do you want the correct spelling of aneurysm? Yes, what's the correct spelling? It's A-N-E-U-R-Y-S-M. Oh, no way. Oh, I was so close. There's a Y? <laughs> aneurysm. I don't, I don't see it. So close. All right, here we go. On the back. What does it mean? Uh, you have a brain aneurysm. Um, you have a, uh, isn't that the, the, when, when oxygen isn't getting to the brain? No. It's when blood isn't, right? No. Okay. You're not supposed to have blood on the brain. That's why it's a problem. Okay. It's when blood gets in the brain. Well, it's the weakening, weakening of an artery wall that creates a bulge or a distension of the artery. That was my third guess. That's how uh, Bruce Lee died, allegedly. Mm. Okay, well, uh, so we get I... we get the chance for two points now. Yes, yeah. oh. it was always two points on that. You could tie this. Tracker. I that's my best case scenario. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesus, with, with that energy, <laughs> no. Let's get a tie then. I'm not losing. All right, let's go. That's what's happening? Let me get All some right. black coffee. There you go. It's not cold, dude. It's cold. Okay. All right. Spell the word. Oh, is that how you spell your name? M A Y E? Maya. All right. Spell the word Maya gives you. Claustrophobia. Whoo, shit. Where's the towel so he could throw it in? Look at the towel on set stat. You want to throw my mask? Okay, I got it. Okay. I can do this. All right, go ahead. C L A U. S T R O P H O B I A. Correct. Woo! Woo! You ready for this tie? Go ahead. Do it wins or not. Ready. All right. Claustrophobia. Define it. Easy. Claustrophobia. The fear of being in a tight or enclosed space. That is correct, Patrick. You spell that shit like you have it. I didn't lose, but I didn't win. Reverse that. I didn't win, but I didn't lose. Listen, first of all, a tie in a word game with Tahir is for sure a loss. <laughs> but. <laughs> not wrong, sir. However, I am, I'm, I'm glad I pulled that, yeah, pull up from half court. I did not expect you to get it. I thought you were going to spell that wrong for sure. You added Latin to this game to give yourself a head up. That is I did not add this. This that's was not producer who, villainy that, and I'm here for it. That was not me. I didn't I did not do that. I like it. I did it's, not know this man. I did not recognize him. Uh, is up. that the end of the new game, Mike? That's it. Okay, sorry. well, that was a doozy. I was um a lot of fun though. Um thank you to Maya and thank you to Tony Valentino for adding these new segments. Thank you to you guys for watching, too. Uh, and shout out to the More Mob and the Scary Squad because they get to see this live. They're watching this right now as we film this. They see the lights and the microphones. Mm -hmm. uh, they saw the times we had to stop and get everything going, so it's, it's, it has its perks. Uh, thank you to my guest, Mr. Patrick Cloud, for Not coming through. You know what I'm saying? With the rematch on the new format, wording is harder. You feel me? Uh, Patrick has a lot of things going on. Patrick, uh, outside of damn it and that you're scared, what else do you have going on right now? Uh, right Thank now. Thank you guys so much for watching. That has not changed. We'll see you next week. I fell for it both times. <laughs> Talk to me, right? Hmm? Yeah, everybody? <laughs> everybody? So I was, this is why I was put on the call sheet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>